Good evening. Uh, welcome to another episode of Plant Base and Plant City with, um, oh, let me start that over. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mara Latori and I'm the creator of the Funky Sport. Today is episode two of our Plant Base and Plant City local dining series and today I have the pleasure of interviewing the rad, the awesome, the amazing Brian Anato, who is the owner of the Strawberry Tap. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and ask a couple of questions. We're going to have some fun, Absolutely. some chit chatting. So Brian, um, what is the Strawberry Tap? Tell us about this concept of yours. The Strawberry Tap is the concept that I've had in my head for probably about 10 years now. Okay. Just the idea of bringing great food okay. to great people at a fair price, to give a community something and give back. Nice. It's you know, pretty straightforward. Quality food, good ingredients, good. local source. We go to the farmer's market three days a week. Nice. It's nice. as local as possible, and that way you can get the best product that you can get. Wonderful. So, Brian, was there something that, a moment that inspired you to want to create and bring this to Plant City? To me, it was always just about the idea of when you bring a dish to a guest, and you are my guest. Yeah. Here. This is, this is a home for me. Okay. So when you come here, where guests become friends and friends become family, I believe in that. We put on our logo, Plant City's hometown. Yeah. So when I bring a dish to a guest and I see their eyes light up, when I see them completed, they grab me by the arm and say, oh my God, thank you. That is the greatest compliment a chef can get. And that's what we strive for, sexy plates for sexy people. I, that sounds great. <laughs> um, I also cook too, I consider food to be an art. I consider being a chef to be a food artist. And I have to say, there's something really about, powerful about food because it brings people together. You need food for sustenance, you need food to survive, but, and I'm sure you see all sorts of people from different backgrounds coming in and out of here all the time. It's one of those things that you share a meal with somebody. You share an experience with somebody. We have the Food Network now, and this whole business has become, you know, one episode of Pinterest fail after the next, yeah. where they see it, I can do it, and they realize, I don't want to do it. Right. So then I'm the guy. Yeah. Everybody has the guy. The yeah. guy that paints, the guy that does the pump. I'm yeah. the guy that when you don't want to do it or you don't think you should or could do it, you come to me. Okay. Because then you don't have to do dishes. Yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah, I do. I'm lazy. <laughs> I love to cook, but if I didn't have to worry about cleaning and doing dishes, that'd be heaven. But until then, this is the next best thing. So. I have gotten paper yeah. plates, so I don't have to do dishes at times. That's working smarter. <laughs> Sometimes That's your wife doesn't agree, but it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this kind of segues into another thing. So one of the reasons I'm doing this series is because um, I'm a plant-based eater, and Plant City is a very barbecue meat-centered town, and I want to highlight that in this little town, you can get incredible, good quality, plant-based, vegan options here in Plant City. So, with that being said, Ryan, um, what do we have here? What, what is this dish that we've got? One of our top selling dishes right now is the grilled portobello mushroom. Okay. We take a jumbo portobello cap, we usually do three. Okay. We do it. Sauteed quinoa, mm. spinach. Okay. On the portobello, yeah. salt, pepper, garlic. Okay. We typically would do a goat cheese crumble on it. Okay. But for a vegan based diet, uh, some are plant based eating. Yeah. Why not take the cheese off? Why not, you yeah. know, be the guy who says, yeah, we got you, as opposed to, no, that's how the dish comes. I really appreciate that. Well, this looks amazing. Do you mind if I take a bite? Just to. Dive in. That's what the nice This, of this is looks for. awesome. And that right there is our red pepper jam. Ooh. So it's fresh red pepper. We roast it every day on the grill. Let me just try a little bite of this. This looks amazing. High five. That's awesome. That's great. So everybody, eating vegan is way more than eating lettuce. It really is. And this dish comes to show that is just that. I, 
It is already meat-like and it has a lot of rich flavors combined. This is really delicious. So, the beauty about yeah. that dish right there is by having a portobello like that on the menu, we've done portobello burgers for people. We've done the portobello burger in a lettuce wrap for people. Mm -hmm. And it's about just saying yes. I believe here the concept of the answer is yes. Yeah. Now what's the question? So you're already coming in here and you're going to have the experience of, and I love to hear when guests say it, don't worry, Brian will take care of you. Whatever you want, yeah. he can make happen. You've done that. Yep, it's true. <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. You know, we want to take care of you because you are a guest here. Yeah. You're not a customer. Those are like the third cousins. You don't want to invite to the party. Yeah. You're a guest. You're family. Thank you. I feel it. I feel Wonderful. it. So this other dish here, uh, my mouth is watering. If you all could come and join me, <laughs> you could. But until then, until technology can make you like uh, transmit food through a camera lens, we don't have that. Brian, what is this? Tell us about this beautiful pepper dish. This, for me, was highlighting what we do here. This is not on our menu. Okay. This is something that this morning I just decided, hey, let's do a stuffed pepper. Yeah. And we have a beautiful black bean burger that's vegan friendly. Okay. And I ground up the black bean burger Ooh. with sauteed spinach. Okay. We did some sun-dried tomato in there. A little bit of red pepper. Okay. Pulsated it down. Added a sautéed rice risotto. Oh, okay. No cream, no nothing. We did vegetable stock in it. And then on top right there, you have a blue agave candied Ooh. pecan. So you get a little bit of that crunch, a little bit of the sweet. Oh, my gosh. With the pepper jam and a balsamic reduction, which we do in house every day. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know where to start with taking a bite out of this. I don't want to, like... Just just I want to eat it, but town. it looks so beautiful. That's the biggest color we got. Brian, yo, this is this is great. High quality. So, I feel like there's a lot of times some people that may have plant-based that may either be vegetarian or vegan or other kind of plant-based variations. That sometimes people feel shy and they just feel like they can't speak out. So. I feel like this is the kind of environment you can just immediately say, listen, I'm vegan, what can I have? And you can kind of accommodate is, that, yeah. Being vegan has such a stigma attached to it. Yeah. And I've seen in kitchens in the past where someone, a server comes back and table 32 has vegan. Yeah. And the first thing that the chef does is, oh man, the first thing I do sense. is challenge, yay. Yeah. What can I do? Yeah. So then we go out, we greet the guests. If you came in. Yeah. Whether I know you or I don't, you come in, the two of you sit down, your server comes back and tells me, hey, I gotta be vegan at table 12. Yeah. I go out, I talk to you, okay, what are you looking for? Where do you wanna go with this one? If I have the ingredients in the back, it's a pleasure to put something back. Yeah. It's a pleasure just to say, hey, I love my menu, but this gives me a chance to go off menu. At the same time, it's, I tell my staff, I tell the servers here, as you are, sorry, I hate to wear servers, I use yeah. presenters. Yeah. Because our food to me is hard. Like, you said before, it's hard. So when someone comes in the back, it's a time for me to shine. It's a time for me to say, we have the ingredients. Let's do it. Let's use it. Let's play. Yeah. Let's have fun. This is something, 15 minutes, and I was like, okay, this is what we're going to make today. And it looks so simple. It is. And that's food. It's simple. Yeah. We have so many things in our menu that are one off items. and. People look and say, oh my God, that looks crazy. But it's the simplicity of doing something with good food. Mm -hmm. And when you look on the back of ingredient labels and you see 15 different items, yeah. I get scared of that. Yeah. If I'm seeing something, and to me, a pepper should be an ingredient. Pepper. Right. Not I agree. 10 million things, because what else are they doing to it? Right. I agree. I mean, I, I just you do this might allow me to create. <laughs> Thank you. I, I feel like you know sometimes when you have a limitation on ingredients, as a food artist myself, it pushes my creativity. Like, oh my gosh, well, so what? I can't use animal-based products. Well, that's okay. Like, let's see, like, where in our brain we can pull recipes out of. So I, I get it. I, I totally get it. So, Brian, one of my last questions is. Where can people find you? 
Come down to downtown Plant City, okay. 110 East Reynolds Street. 110 East Reynolds Street, okay. You can find our website at thestrawberrytap.com. Awesome. We're on Facebook. We have a beautiful comment box on our website, which I wanted to have where you can suggest things. You can ask me questions. Hey, nice. why are you guys doing this? Why don't you do that? Which actually today, one of the students in my wife's seventh grade class at Tomlin suggested a burger of the month for us. Ooh, nice. And I cooked it this morning. It is a Reese's peanut butter cup burger. What? With That's a banana crazy. custard. Okay. And I sent the picture to her so she could send, show him. Yeah. He was so happy. And we have it on our website. Show me what you want. Tell me what you want. Wow. The answer is yes. What's the question? Nice. Brian, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on this segment. So, folks, whether you are a resident of Plant City or just here visiting from out of town, please come stop by the Strawberry Tap. You will not be disappointed. Your belly and your soul will be happy. So thank you very much. Have a good night. And I'm going to chow down. Good night.